If there were one person that was the pure embodiment of evil in this world it would be George Soros. Yes, of course, Barack Hussein Obama and Hillary Clinton do come in at a close second, but Soros is the supreme puppet master calling the shots from afar. For years, we have seen how far Soros is willing to go to ensure that the United States is destroyed and then absorbed into the New World Order. However, those plans were put on hold the moment that Donald Trump was elected president and America began to reclaim her sovereignty again. While the country is rebuilding from the abysmal leadership of Barack Obama, George Soros is looking for ways to stop the progress. Soros is not only funding Antifa protests to continue chaos in an already fractured country, but he is also financing anti-Trump demonstrations around the world. Now, the nefarious arch-villain of our freedom has been caught in Alabama where the much-anticipated special Senate race between Republican Roy Moore and Democratic challenger Doug Jones is taking place. Soros and his band of minions were caught registering convicted felons to vote in the upcoming election. And of course, the mainstream media is silent. The left knows that they cannot win on their shoddy record so they will resort to what they do best, cheat, and that is exactly what George Soros is doing. You would think that these geniuses would figure out their plans of cheating never work out the way they hope and the Republicans typically trounce them at the polls. Well, they haven't learned since George Soros is working hard to register hundreds of convicted felons to vote against Troy Moore in the special election. Underscore Briet Bart underscore reported earlier today, an organization that partnered with the George Soros financed backed group and led by a family member of Reverend Del Sharpton has been working hard to get those felons registered. The goal of the group is to get as many felons as they can register to vote before the deadline of December 12th to spearhead the election. The group has announced that their efforts are to ensure that the Democratic candidate wins over the popular Republican candidate who has been plagued with false sexual misconduct allegations for weeks. So, instead of working on a platform to help the American people in the state of Alabama they instead register felons, but the worst of IT is the law allows IT. Here is more from Briet Bart. Underscore Al.com reported that Pastor Kenneth Glasgow has been at the forefront of the statewide effort, which has successfully registered thousands of felons across Alabama in recent weeks. Glasgow has been aided in his efforts here by other Soros-financed groups, including the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU. Underscore, underscore the Village Voice previously described Glasgow, Sharpton's half-brother as an ex-con and recovering crackhead turned street preacher. Underscore, underscore Glasgow is currently president of a group he founded in 1999 calling itself the Ordinary People's Society, TOPS. And he is a former leader of another organization, the Radical Free Alabama Movement, FAM, which has for years been making inroads into Alabama's prison population. Underscore, underscore Glasgow told Al.com that in the last month alone I think we registered at least five to 10,000 people all over the state, referring to his efforts here in Alabama. Underscore, underscore I've got people all over the state registering people with my tops branches in Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Montgomery, Enterprise, Dathan, Advil. Geneva, Gordon, Bessemer, we have a lot, he added. Dot underscore, underscore speaking on his radio program, Glasgow charged that swarming the polls with newly registered convicts could swing the vote, pointing as a template to the Virginia governor's race. In that state, Governor Terry McCauley fused his executive power in April to restore voting rights for over 200,000 felons. Dot underscore, underscore we have the chance to do the same thing they did in Virginia. Glasgow stated. We can turn it blue. Well not blue, but we can add some color. Make it pink or purple. Underscore, underscore Glasgow has been taking advantage of a change made last May when Alabama's Governor K. Ivey signed a law that defined a clause in the state constitution denying the right to vote to anyone who has committed a crime that demonstrates moral turpitude. Underscore underscore the new law generated a list of about 50 crimes that fit under the moral turpitude banner, including murder, kidnapping, and sexual abuse. Glasgow was involved in the activism promoting the law. 
underscore, underscore this means that Glasgow is free to register felons whose crimes do not fit under the state's definition of a moral turpitude conviction. Underscore, underscore Glasgow's activism is intended to fill the void left by Alabama's legal refusal to actively notify potentially tens of thousands of former felons that they regained their voting rights. A federal judge in July sided with Alabama affirming that the state does not need to make such notifications after Ivy signed the law restoring rights to some felons. Underscore, a Soros-funded group called the Campaign Legal Center filed a lawsuit against Alabama last year calling for a public educational campaign to inform felons of their regained right to vote. The litigation is still ongoing. Underscore, underscore this is not a Democratic or Republican issue, it's a democracy issue with a lower case D. Danielle Lang, a campaign legal center lawyer, stated after spending a week earlier this month in Alabama holding educational clinics on the matter. Underscore, underscore besides funding from Soros, the campaign legal center documents that it receives financing from the Soros-funded Tides Foundation and from the Soros-funded Brennan Center for Justice. Underscore, there is good news even though IT may be hard to see. When the left has to resort to registering illegal immigrants, refugees, and now convicted felons you know we are winning. The left has nothing new in their bag of dirty tricks, so they resort to the same tactics that continue to fail them time after time, and Roy Moore will most likely win because of it. So, if you are in the state of Alabama you better get out there and vote for Moore and make sure that the lunatic left is crying again like they were after Donald Trump won last year. H. T. Briet Bart, follow us on Facebook at Freedom Daily.